everyone, welcome back to the Gunsmith series. We're on part 20, the M1A. This is a carryover from the, the old Gunsmith series, but it's here nonetheless. It's important because it unlocks the Magpul MOE carbine rubber butt pad and some other stuff. So let's get into it so you can get those parts. All right, so the couple of things required here, obviously the M1A. Uh, he wants it fitted with the Ultimac M84 optic mount, which is something important, as well as the Night Force Atcar 7 to 35. Uh, ATACR, sorry. The uh, Micro T1 Reflex Sight, Holosun LS321 Tactical Device, uh, and then Ergo Above 20 Recoil, some below 400, total weight of 7.3 kilograms or less. Now, if you're on this, I'm going to assume you have Loyalty Level 3 Traders, Mechanic, and Peacekeeper, though you can do it before that. I suggest Loyalty Level 3 because it's just going to make this cheaper. The first thing we're going to talk about, though, is a couple of parts that are in here that you need to get. The first being the M14 Lapers UTG 4 Point Locking Deluxe Mount. This is required for the build and can be spendy. Right now, they're on the flea market for like 35, 40 K. If you have mechanic three, you can just buy it for 10 K. But there are barters out there to make it cheaper. The first one is on mechanic two. It is a round pliers and a nippers that'll get it for you. And then the other one is on peacekeeper two. This is also pretty cheap. This one is for weapon parts and a WD-40. So those are available to you. I wanted to point that out. The next one is the really expensive one, the M8 or the Ultimac M8, the Ford Optic Mount. This thing can sell from anywhere from 30, 40, up to, as you can see here, 150,000 rubles, depending on what people are willing to charge for it. But like most things, there's no reason to do this. There is a barter right on mechanic loyalty level two to save you a ton of money. Three printed circuit boards, which at worst right now is probably like 35, 40 K. I guess they're expensive, but you can craft three circuit boards for all of about 20 K if you want to and get that part and not spend a ton of money. The last one is gonna be the Night Force. Right now, because of the time of the wipe I'm doing this video, it is usually cheaper here to buy it, but this can get much more expensive. And on Jaeger, he has a barter on loyalty level two for the Night Force or a power bank, a UV lamp and two magnets. It can save you money, depends, double check. If you don't have one of these, that is what I suggest going to look at. Now from here, Oops, there's that fun bug. We have the M1A, which I just straight bought off of Peacekeeper. If you get one out of RAID, you get one out of your Intel case, it doesn't matter. You want the standard M1A with the 16 inch barrel. So let's hop into the mod screen and get this thing built from here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the stock to the Archangel. You wanna leave the mag in there. Next up is trading to the SOCOM threaded system, Enterprise SOCOM 16 threaded muzzle brake and gas block for another muzzle brake that we need for recoil. And for that muzzle brake, it's easy to just go with the X3. It'll get you most of the way there. Next up is our M8. It goes right on top. Uh, I forget which part right here, M8. So that gets you your fancy part. And in order to get the aim point, we need our aim point micro, which is going to be this AMM right here. And then you go with the aim point micro, which is the T1, I believe, right there. Next up is gonna be our UTG part, the part that was really hard to get, this UTG 4P, that goes on, followed by any 30, uh, 34 meter, meter scope mount that you have or that you want. For me, I like using the goofy RAP one because it's usually the cheapest on the flea market and it's cheapest from the traders if you have it unlocked, followed by the, the ATACR Night Force scope. And then last but not least, we have to put a Holosun on the bottom, which is gonna be something that's cheap off the vendors, which is just this LS321. And there you go, that's our build. So we'll assemble it, we'll buy our parts. Uh, unsaved changes, yes, not worried about that, I'll save it later. So I have a couple of parts in here, obviously, because we already bought them. We'll make sure that I'm using any found in raid once we assemble it. Purchase all parts, 91,000, 92, okay, 95. Got it done, we'll assemble. I'm gonna save as gunsmith art 20 real quick. And yes, it does clip through. It's stupid, but that's just how it works. If you don't want it to clip through, you could put another piece on there, but that's just part of the process. And there you go. We got our little checkbox. She's ready to go, ready to turn in. So let's go do that real quick. Mechanic tasks, gunsmith part 20, turn in and God, that's a goofy looking rifle, but it's complete. Now we got some, not only do we get some good experience, we got some good attachments that we needed unlocked. Finally, the AR-10 KAC, as well as the Magpul MOB carbine rubber butt pad. We'll complete that. It'll open up level 21, which is our last before another 21 hour break. 
Now I've said in the past it was 24 hours. I thought it was, but I believe it's 21. So keep that in mind. We'll get 21 done, look for it up here. And then it'll be another day before I can do 22, which I believe is the last one. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. This has been a long series. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, we'll keep up the grind and we'll see you in the next video.